Hello, YouTubers. Rick Poulin here with another adventure trip out to the re revisit of Vinyl Haven Island. Vinyl Haven Island is located uh, right up uh, from the uh, Rockland Main Ferry Terminal, about an hour and maybe 10 15 minutes. Smooth sailing this time, no issues with the, with the bikes. Uh, and the rough seas, as in the previous videos of uh, Vinyl Haven that uh, I had uploaded to YouTube. But here it was the end of October. The weather was so mild. We were getting ready to put the put the bikes away for the winter season, and the weather just seemed to get warmer as October went along. So we decided that we would make an attempt to make a last-minute trip out to Vinyl Haven. Uh, I had done a couple of trips out to New York and and Vermont I rode the 1,000 mile dirt road highway posted that uh, video previously but here at the end of October we're almost getting ready to put the motorcycles away for the season as the October uh, weather seems to to get really chilly and and I believe it snowed at the end of October in past years but uh, this was not gonna happen this year so a few of you may be skeptical of does climate change really exist? Well, I don't remember October, at least the end of October, being so warm and mild as it was. And even when we returned from this trip, uh, there were still more riding days ahead because the weather was in the mid-60s. So this was really nice to get out to Vinyl Haven during this warm, mild end of October season to explore the island yet again and again visit some other areas that we didn't get to see the first two times we went. I think this is the third video of Vinyl Haven Island. Again, we all did separate trips this year with family and loved ones and things like that, but uh, we decided that at the end of this season here we'd get one last trip in together to go. He's a good riding buddy friend of mine, uh, and we almost didn't make it. We had one reservation we had to cancel because of the forecast called for three days of rain on Vinyl Haven in a row two or three days anyway and we thought well we wouldn't want to visit Vinyl Haven if it's raining and we're visiting there on motorcycles so we canceled that one trip and figured maybe October would be a little rough but it wasn't very mild going out very mild temperatures so here we are just getting ready to arrive at the island of Vinyl Haven and enjoy one or two days I think is all we went out there for and uh, we had a great time Although most of the local establishments and businesses uh, were closed, we, uh, we learned that uh, a lot of things closed around the beginning of October 1st, uh, but uh, we still nevertheless had a great time visiting the island. We again stayed at the Tidewater uh, Hotel, and the uh, proprietor, Sarah, was very, uh, very nice in handling our accommodations and um, we just enjoyed it. Here we are on the back porch just watching the, the water go through and under the main road there downtown. See how warm it is? I'm sitting there with a short sleeve shirt drinking a cold one and just can't believe October is as mild as it is. So sit back and enjoy and with this very short little video of, uh, well I hope you enjoy it anyway, a short uh, little visit out to uh, Vinyl Haven Island in the end of October 2021. Just right up around the corner down Main Street, uh, as you turn to the left, you'll see a gazebo with the uh, historic uh, Gallimander, uh, which was is a big part of Vinyl Haven history uh, and its uh, connection with uh, the granite that exists on Vinyl Haven. So I'll include a link down at the uh, bottom of this video. If you're interested, you can click on there and learn about uh, the historical significance to Vinyl Haven with the Gallimander.
Final Haven is a very beautiful island, and I highly recommend if you ever get a chance to uh, visit Final Haven that you get out there and see it. Uh, I've been here, I think, two or three times now, and uh, every single time I come at a different time of the year, it's just really beautiful out here. I don't think you see the same thing twice, uh, because I don't live on the island, but every single time I come out, I manage to see something different and uh, just get over the, uh, the natural beauty of um, the island itself. Uh, the people are very, very friendly and accommodating, and it's just a very, very nice place to visit. So I do highly recommend, if you do ever do get a chance and you're looking to explore new areas, uh, you can get to Vinyl Haven by going to Rockland, Maine, and taking the, uh, the ferry, the Rockland Ferry, over to Vinyl Haven, about a little over an hour, hour and ten minutes or so. And as we uh, get ready to uh, leave the island here, just wanted to say thank you for watching, and I hope you did get to enjoy this very short video. And maybe someday we'll get back again. Um, I think so, that's possible. Maybe not next summer, but maybe the summer after. did want to get into Canada again. I like riding my motorcycle up in Canada, uh, Montreal, and that area of Quebec. I used to live in Quebec when I was younger. My father was in the military, and we were stationed at an Air Force base up in uh, Val d'Or, Quebec. Uh, very chilly in the wintertime. Not as cold as Maine, but uh, or not as not as cold in Maine as it is in, in Quebec, but uh, there you go. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Again, another re-revisit to Vinyl Haven Island off the coast of Maine. Again, thank you for watching.